hello and welcome to my youtube channel in this video i am going to introduce you a new software which is called ggu software this software is used to calculate a geo hydraulics calculation for the dam and for the dike this is very important software in which uh, you can calculate how your dam is going to be stable or your dike is going to be stable and how to basically calculate uh, the seepage uplift and stability of that dike or dam okay uh, in our example we are going to use a dike example so rather than using dam we are going to use dike dam and dike is basically same thing but in different contexts you can say that so the software which i am going to use is called a ggu ss flow 2d so I am going to open that file, uh, I am going to open uh, that software. So here we have uh, opened the software. We have got uh, a tab where you can see file, mesh, boundary, system, graphic preferences, page size, margin evaluation and info. So this software is particularly uh, used in, in in Germany Deutschland you can also uh, this so uh, software also can be used somewhere else as well so the, we have opened our system first of all that is called empty system then we have to load the drawings these drawings can be drawn on AutoCAD or you can also draw on this GGU software obviously in order to do any calculation we have to have some kind of model model which i have said that i am going to use a dike model okay so in my case i have already uh, created that that dike uh, model but i'm going to show you how to create that dike model uh, dike model so in our case we already have that i will just upload simply and uh, do the further calculation but if you like to uh, generate your own you can do that in this way so if you just go click on mesh then you need to click on define nodes okay just okay then you need to click on your drawing sheet or drawing area or your empty system so here you can see you have some nodes and i am just trying to give a shape of a dike or dam you can say that so here you have so this is kind of as you can see this look like a dam so we then have to join these all lines together so i will say manual mesh so let's say number one to number two and number three obviously this is a soil type soil number you can say number one so here in this in this style i mean in this way you can create whole dike or whole dam but the one which I have created already, I'm just going to import that. I'm going to show you how to import that dike or dam. So I am just simply clicking back button because I already have my uh, drawing generated. You can uh, draw that on AutoCAD. Then later you can just import that on your screen. So I'm just uh, going uh, back button. So in this way i have to just click new yes vertical plane system so here i have empty system so i'm going to upload my existing uh, drawing so if you click on that mini cad then dfx dfx means is a cad drawing i have drawn on cad so if i click on ok then i have to go and find that file where i have located it so the system is a little bit slow it's gonna come up in a minute uh, here i have uh, located my file i have soil investigation model reconstruction homogeneous model reconstruction zone so i am going to use two dikes one is homogeneous which means all the material is the same one is zoned or inhomogeneous which is like different materials we have so in our case we are going to use first we are going to analyze first homogeneous later obviously uh, i cannot do everything in one uh, video i will upload further videos to to give you 
more details to give you all the steps how to do that okay if i click on that click ok so here my drawing existing drawing is already uh, uploading it on on coming on my screen so so as you can see we have a dike here so this is a dike which uh, i like to work on before doing anything the first step is is a mesh we need to draw a mesh mesh on it okay so how to do meshing go on mesh so you will say define node you need to define the nodes first obviously in order to draw a mesh you need to have a nodes to to connect the mesh what is mesh mesh is some something like simplification of any model so in order to do any calculation you need to have a mesh okay so in this case i am defining my nodes here here all that stuff so you can click on your corner you need to draw a, like nice mesh on this dike this is the dike which i already have created you can have black and white but i i choose the colored one so it's, it's not a big problem so more or less everything gonna be the same so i am at the moment defining my nodes the purpose of these nodes to draw mesh on this existing uh, drawing okay so i have defined my nodes obviously uh, if i do mesh step by step it will take a long time so i'm going just going to show you how to draw mesh on it so i have defined the nodes as you can see the small numbers the very small numbers so these are my uh, node points nodal points now i have to join them when i join them it will ask me to give a soil type obviously this is uh, a base this is new dike this is old dike this is berm this is other layers and you have piling system and this is trench you have to use different soil type rather than using only one soil type okay so mesh i will go on mesh i have defined the nodes already now mesh now go for manual mesh okay it's asking me to click on three nodes on fem element fem element means finite element method finite element method is is a simplification of any building any any model any dam or anything so you need to use finite element method in this in this method you need to define three nodes okay okay so now i have click number one number two number three so now you're asking me soil number so you can have different soil number so in my case i'm gonna give it two or you can have one you can have three it's up to you this is basically uh, a differentiates between one layer to another layer so if i am using number two soil so i will have to use number two soil all over in this uh, orange place okay so that's done as you can see that uh, soil type i cannot see because the soil which already been used is also number two so i am going to try different soil and mesh okay yes so now i am i have deleted the previous one now i'm going to give a different number let's say number one okay so number one is also is invisible on that but i am not sure so this this is the way basically you can you can draw the mesh on it so you can draw second mesh sorry second line on that here you can see i have uh, completed my mesh obviously this is too congested in order to uh, make it more congested i have uh, clicked on mesh I clicked on all and there are three options here so you always need to pick that number three so if I uh, pick that one up it will become more congested which I don't want that so I only uh, have to click that option only twice so all three once and twice you just need to use two, two time that's all I already used it so once you have your mesh completed now what you need to do you need to put uh, your potentials what is potential potential is basically 
a water level which is pushing your dike okay so in in our case we have potentially a 30 let me check it properly it's 30 uh, 36 meter so the lowest one is 30 the high the middle one is 36 meter and the highest one is 37 meter so to so where to put that potential so you have to go once you have completed your mesh main thing is that the first step is to complete your mesh all over the place all over your dike the second step is now you need to go on system you need to analyze it okay there are two methods one Cholesky decompose Cholesky and the other one is uh, iterative so you need to use iterative okay so it will ask uh, start analysis yeah every system with the uh, primatic line or something so 2d you, do, you don't have to click anything in here everything has to be uh, exactly the same as you can see in here so just start it now so here you can see the analyzing is uh, being done okay your analysis has been uh, done now once you have done your analysis then you go to evaluation you have normal contour you have discharge you have so many things so you have to click your normal contour so normal contour means as you can see here this is asking us to put potentials contour potentials contour line is basically when your water pushes it will show that how your water is going to travel within your dike or within your dam obviously we need to show what is the water level so in our case we have shown maximum value is 31 and minimum is 31.5 where is that 31.5 come from 35 point uh, 31.5 is on right hand side this is the uh, as you can see my cursor point this is the level of 31.5 and the highest level which is 36.0 meter and this is separation separation is a contour line separation how big or how separate is contour line you want to see contour lines normally uh, explain that the what water path, path within our dike so i will click on okay so as you can see here we have contour lines so in order to make it more uh, visible so i have just zoomed it so here I have control line you can see that the 36 line is going further so I have to show you in here so you see that this is our trench beneath the trench is all going that so one thing in here I like to say you need to keep in mind if your uh, calculation doesn't work then simply you have to correct your mesh the main thing is mesh there is something wrong with the mesh you have to be uh, you have to be very conscious while drawing your mesh okay so what we have calculated as uh, so we have you know analyzed it we have checked our evaluation which is normal contour before doing so i forgot to mention that we have to add our soil properties at the same time before going to analyze it or after analyze it i think you can do that in both way so how you gonna put your uh, soil properties obviously we had this is a different layer all different layers so we always have to define each layer with this different soil properties so you will go to system so click on soil properties here you have all the soil properties so this is your permeability of that soil both number has to be same then you have sand okay the sand permeability is minus four then you have sheet pile loam ceiling dike body dike new body berm top soil layer concrete trench etc so these all things you have to keep in mind uh, either you have to get these values on internet or you will be given from your you know from your uh, instructor or from your i don't know who whosoever can be so once you have that then you just need to click it done your soil properties are already placed in your dike you have analyzed it while using you know control putting potentials this is very important you have to put potential on right hand side and left hand side then this is a minimum value which is 31.5 as you can see that so 31.5 i just let me show you where it comes from so 31.5 is come from here here you can see 31.5 is here okay the maximum value is 36.5 now uh, 36 uh, then you have to this is a potential we are working with the potential okay 31.5 then okay so here you have your contour once you have finished your contour then what is the next step you need to do 
the next step is the same thing it already been analyzed so uh, evaluation you already check your contour line as you can see contour lines are here so now you have to check your discharge how the discharge will look like i mean what would be the discharge of our dike so here you have you can see that it's uh, the computer screen is too small i would say so so you can see that this is your discharge sometimes as you can see here you have all red lines but you get blue lines blue dots you don't want that blue dots you need to take them off you need to draw the uh, you need to have these red dots how you can do that so you just need to click on that dots So you can see that uh, we have checked our control lines and we have checked our discharge. So that's it for today. Uh, thank you for watching my video. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel.